All right, so we finished painting everything. And this is how the color turned out. Let's see if we can see it better this way. There's probably some spots I still gotta redo. But it turned out really, really nice. It's like a brown, green, gray. And it's hard to see. Let me see the light. Oops. Put the light on the color so it can spotlight it. That's still hard to see. But I have like two bookshelves. They're fluted and they're black, but they're like a rusted wood black. And then they have gold. They have like um, rusted gold handles. And I'm gonna put those either over here, both on both sides, and then put my desk in the middle, or I'm gonna put it over here. I don't know what to do, because I might put like a little couch here and have it facing this way, because I do wanna be able to use this as a projector wall, but I don't know, I got so many ideas. Maybe I'll just wait till the stuff comes and kinda like sit with it and see what I feel. Maybe I can even put my desk that way over there in that corner, have the shelf here, the shelf here, picture frames and stuff, and then a couch over here still. I don't even know. I honestly don't know. So we're gonna see how it goes. But for now, this is how everything turned out and I am happy with it. I feel like it's a good color. It's nice and trendy. There's a brown hue, which I love, because it makes me feel like it's like, it's kind of masculine, but I'm gonna make it more feminine once I bring in, like I have a lot of golds. I have this mirror that I found at Home Goods. It has that like rusty bronze gold look. And then I have some picture frames. Let's see, oh, and that took all the boxes out of the thing. But I have some picture frames. And like, for example, this one, so it has the rustic gold and see when you put this up against the wall here, man, when I tell you that's a banger. So I'm so excited for that because I got six of these. So I'm gonna put them across in like a little formation or whatever. Like it's gonna be nice and I might, if I clean up this chair, I might put this chair in there because it kind of matches with the brown and the rust, but then it brings some feminine touch to it. So we'll see how it goes. Right now, I'm just kind of rolling with the punches. All right, this is, uh, it, my watch said I burned 1,800 calories yesterday painting this. So kudos to uh, professional painters because I could not do it. I can barely do it for my own house, but it was an excuse to get some free workout. So yeah, I'm very, very excited at how everything turned out so far. And I am ready to bring the furniture in. The uh, desk doesn't come till next week. So um, I don't know if I'll be, I'll probably drop this vlog and then next week I'll just drop another one that actually shows the desk. But for today, we have another project. We're actually putting down peel and stick flooring inside of our main bedroom. So we'll see how that goes. Cause uh, yeah, I have never done something like that. So we'll see. Uh, it's gonna look amazing though. I know that. Uh, also, ooh, wanted to show you some things. So I have some plans. Okay, so here's our living room here. Oh, and I got a new planter for, Oh yeah, I showed that to you guys. Yeah, so we replanted, which I need to probably scoot him over a little bit. He's kind of uneven in the bin, but um, if we go this way, our kitchen. So we have finally decided that we're gonna paint the cabinets because it's just not our style. And it just keeps, like we keep coming in here and we still see it and it's just really ugly. So we're gonna paint these in a dark green, the same color as our main bedroom vanity. We're gonna take these handles and we're gonna change them to long black handles. It's gonna make the kitchen look way more modern, more sleek. We're getting a new microwave. My uh, 
little sister exploded a candle making set inside of our microwave and ruined it. And then my daughter blew up the rest of it uh, with some noodles that did not have any water. So we had to get a new microwave, but that's good. That gives me an excuse to fix it. And then we have to get a new dishwasher. So once we get all of those things put together and, and fixed up here, I feel like our kitchen will be like at least temporarily a little bit more like what we like. Um, especially those handles. The, those handles, I really feel like are going to make a big difference because it just really looks traditional in here. And I really just don't like the traditional feel of this house. Um, also, I want to show you guys this. So on Amazon, I went and they were $30 only for two. And I got these little, these little lamps. They cut on like this and then they have USB plugs on the side. Uh, not that we'll be using those because uh, this is a, a console table, but it's a nice little feature. Um, and then also show you more projects. We have, oh look, I'm watching somebody make some food on YouTube. Uh, we have the main bedroom. So this, I mean, not the main bedroom, the uh, guest bedroom. This bedroom lacks a lot of character, a lot of interesting things. So I'm going to take up to this part of the wall and put wallpaper across the bottom of this wall as a pattern. It's just gonna be a block of wallpaper against the bottom of the wall. And it sounds weird, but it's gonna look nice. Um, it's like a rustic brown color. And it's like, it's like burnt orange brown. That's the closest I thing I can do to describe. I mean, that's the closest description I can say for the name of it. And it's gonna tie in with this with this guitar. It's gonna tie in with the whole room. I'm gonna bring the border all around the whole entire room. Then I found some some hanging um, sconces. I'm gonna put those on the corners and hang those. And then I'm going to take. Um, the comforter, I got a new duvet that is, it's striped black and white. So it's gonna bring some different color in here. It's gonna look urban, modern, chic. And then I have a throw blanket that is um, burnt, rusted brown as well. Some throw pillows as well that I'm getting. I'm gonna go to Ikea and get the inserts for them. And then that'll be the final touches that I bring to this space. I might, because these light plugs are at the bottom, and they're gonna be inside of the wallpaper. I might change those as well. Maybe put a rustic gold color on them to match the sconces. But we'll see how that goes. Cause I'm a little weary of that. When I say that out loud, I don't know if I want that or not, but we'll figure it out. And then, so little touches like this. So we have gold versions of these upstairs. So I wanna change those out. I'm change the doorknobs out and the fixtures in between and the hinges all of that's going to get switched out light switch cover is going to get swapped out all of that those little touches should be able to make this room a little bit better i might go to TikTok, get one of those fluffy rugs put it at the bottom of the bed it's only like 40 bucks i don't know if you've been seeing those circulate they're kind of cute kind of on the cheaper side but hey it's a bedroom and not everybody like sleeps in here so uh also want to show you what the plans are for the outside so this here hold on it is freezing out here okay so the siding on my house looks horrendous now we didn't do this well we uh moved in and it was already like that and it looked terrible so i looked it up on youtube and basically what we need to do is we need to go to Home Depot, get the planks for these, measure them, cut them out and replace them, and then color match the paint and then um, paint over the new replacement shingles. So I'm gonna do that for this whole section. There's some peeling paint there. So maybe do that for that too. There's also some, if you see over here, I don't know if you can see under this window, under this window right here, 
there's a little bit of scuff marks but that looks like it can just be painted i don't think i'm going to replace the siding for that part just because it's so expensive to get like the boards and stuff but that part looks like that looks overall nice i just want it to look like better you know um down here i feel like this is really ghetto looking this this we need to uproot this uh satellite dish i don't know how it was buried or what they did with this but we don't even want this so i don't even know like what to do with that any ideas give me some ideas in the comments i don't even know how to take that out or where to start this is our yard um i am in the process of figuring out the steps to get this to become plush and green by the time it's time for it to so I think I want to start in March and by the end of March I want to have this be fluffy green I have looked up some videos on how to do that with clay they said that I need to lay down they said that I need to till the yard um till the yard put down some topsoil rake the yard put the seed in no 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 put the seed in rake the tilled yard with the topsoil and then water it uh daily oh wait also put hay they said put hay too and then the end lime because of the fact that it is clay um they said put lime to help with the deficiencies as far as the soil is concerned and then they said that i need to water it every day twice a day uh the guy that did the yard with clay said once a day so i might listen to him he said he does it does it once a day for 20 minutes because he's in north carolina so the weather is similar and he had clay in his yard the other guy that i was watching he was not in north carolina so he had no clay his dirt was actual dirt all he had to do was just tend to it and make it uh a actual growable dirt if that makes sense so i have i am more partial to listening to the guy that uh lives in a place that has cold winters like here um and so we have a a tilling machine that we bought last summer that uh works for this so we might use that or you know it just depends but um yeah, we're going to get this done. End of February towards beginning of March, we're going to get this done. And then that way we can be out here sipping drinks and looking at the pretty grass by the time the summer hits. Um, also, I want to change out these lamps here on the outside so they can be better looking. Um, yeah, enough said on that. That looks terrible. I'm going to show you guys the front, but I'm going to get prepared for my walk first. Um so i'll be back oh yeah and i wanted to show you guys these floors really quick too while i'm up here so you can see the color see the change from the before and after so here's the floors they look terrible they're like yellow and just funny looking like i don't know how else to describe what they look like besides just funny um so we got our work cut out for us. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tile this with a gray and white tile, peel and stick tile that we found on Amazon. Um, oh, and this is the green that we're thinking about putting downstairs in the kitchen. Let me know what you guys think about that. But I haven't ordered anything yet, but I'm thinking about ordering that green, this green for the kitchen. Um, so I still got time to change my mind on that. I'm still, I'm not fully sold. It's going to be bold. It's going to be different. It's going to be nice, but I don't know. It'll be better than what it is now, I guess. I also want to take some Rust-Oleum, change this into a different color tile stuff and change this to a white so it can look more modern. But I'm kind of up in the air about that too because I don't want stuff to look like I fixed it. Like I want it to look new, but I don't want it to look like it's like a Band-Aid, if that makes sense. 
So I might leave it. It just depends on what I'm feeling with that. I know for a fact, though, I'm changing these, uh, the hardware here. All the, the different hardware, like the faucet, changing the faucet and the drain. And I'm changing the faucet and drain here. Uh, and then I'm changing this light for sure. So once, once, and the drain here and the faucet and stuff here too. So once we change the floors, the four, floors are first for me. Then I'm going to go and change the face plates, the hardware that is on the wall, the doors, um, all of this. And then I'm going to um, go and change, let me see, these here, all of the different faucets. The shower is a piece of work. I don't even know where to start with this, but we're going to change... I mean, we've already changed this out, but I don't even like it. I, I want it to be black. I want everything to be black. Um, this shower door is terrible looking. Like, I don't, I just don't even know where to start with the shower. So for now, we're do doing the floor. We're changing out the hardware. We're changing out the fixtures. And we're changing out the, the, the light fixtures and the, uh, the, the faucets. And then it'll at least look presentable in here. And then I can move on to trying to figure out like, okay, do we want to paint in here? I don't think we want to paint because it's so high up. I don't feel like dealing with that, I don't think. Um, Cause I use the ladder for everything else, but I don't think I can use the ladder for this. This is so high up in here. Um, I know for sure I do want to paint this back wall, but I'm thinking of doing it in a um, lime paint to where it's like, that feathered look and then putting up I have this like Chinese tapestry thing putting that up and then getting a rug and then we're pretty much finished in here there's not really much left to do uh it looks kind of sparse but that's just because it's just a lot of space to fill in here so you know I could stand to put a couple of trinkets and make it better but we're in the process of cleaning up, so excuse the dirt. I can hear people coming for me in the comments already saying, should you clean up before you go on camera? I'm not going to clean up before I do a major project because to me, that doesn't make sense. We're about to make it dirty in the house anyway, so it doesn't make sense. Also, you won't believe what happened the other day. This lady went in the comments and told me that shame on me for not buckling up the baby correctly. For one, I didn't buckle her up. My husband did. But I stand on everything that he does as my own. And I'll take the L if she wasn't fastened up correctly. I will say this. She is over two years of age. She was facing the correct direction. Her seat belt, all of her seat belt was fully buckled in. The seat belt to strap on the back of the chair we have a car seat that allows you to hook on the seat belt from the car to the back of the chair. We had that on. The only thing I can say as to why she probably said that is because my daughter's jacket was very puffy. So her, um, in order to not make her feel constrained, we had to scoot down the little, the little um, clip part that sits on their chest normally. We had to scoot it down a little bit because she, she could barely move in that jacket, but we wanted her to have a jacket because it's cold. So I don't know, I don't know. Like any suggestions would be helpful. I didn't, I, I got rid of the comment because it only discouraged me. Like I am a young parent and I, I feel like with comments like that, like she complimented the baby, said the baby was cute, but then said shame on me. Like I would never put shame on someone as a parent, like it just made me feel sad. So, <laughs> you know, uh, this is a shout out to the lady. Thanks for like making me feel bad during that day. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that helps you to tell me that. Like I could understand if someone just tells me, hey, you know, hey, you should scoot, the, scoot up the seat belt a little bit. It'll be better support for her. That's better for her. That's, that's constructive. But the way that she said it was just trying to make me feel bad for something that I made a mistake on. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's not helpful in any way. It's not helpful to tell me shame on me. That doesn't help me in any way. So I feel like sometimes people have an unnecessary way of presenting things. And me and my husband and I talked about this the other day because I do the same thing. Sometimes there's a healthy and there's an unhealthy way to present something. And you have to think to yourself before you say something, because it takes effort to write a comment. It takes effort to respond to a comment. It takes effort to, to speak. So sometimes you have to think to yourself, before I say this, is every part of what I'm saying, do I feel like this is even necessary? And I know like you could argue the fact that most comments are not necessary at all because this is my life and this is not their life. So they didn't have to say anything. But I understand that I'm inviting people into my space and I am putting myself out there in a way that promotes people to be friendly or to not be friendly in some instances um, and come into the comments and say things. So I cannot really fault anyone for wanting to engage in that way. All I can say is that that made me feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> that made me feel bad. I started looking up all kinds of guidelines to make sure I was still on point to make sure my baby was okay. I'm not trying to harm her in any way and I'm still learning. So anything that may be helpful in that area, I'm down. Sometimes I'm not down because it doesn't matter. Like if someone has something bad about the way I, you know, bad to say about the way I paint, I don't care. The reason why I don't care because it doesn't, doesn't bother me in any way if I paint terrible. It's my house. So, you know, I could paint all day and make it ugly. And you guys could say whatever. And then I'll just leave it that way. But when it comes to the kids, it does concern me. Anytime somebody has an opinion about that. Who knows? Lady could have been a pediatrician. She could have been a school teacher. So she has more experience with kids than me. Who knows? So I can't knock that. I'm just saying all the only point that I'm trying to make is that I felt bad when I when I saw that and when I read it. It it made my stomach drop. <laughs> I'm already kind of nervous as it is to be in a camera capacity. Like I don't even like I don't really like social media like that. I feel like it kind of in some instances makes us compare ourselves to a lot of people that we don't really know what their story is. We don't see their struggle. We don't see their fight behind closed doors. We don't see any of that. So essentially, I don't really like that aspect of social media because I feel like it really disheartens a lot of people and it makes them feel like they're behind in their goals. When we all have our own lives to live, we have our own personal goals, we have our own fight, we have our own struggles and our own path. So I just really feel like, you know, just be mindful of what you say to people and how you make them feel. Live your life. That's one thing, like live it unapologetically, but, you know, just, just don't do things for the sole purpose of making someone feel bad. Because if there's any other intent behind it besides making them feel bad, you can do that without, or you can try to do it in a tactical way that can help them more than it hurts them. And that's all I gotta say about that. Um, going on my run now, finally. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so I've been working on these floors. My husband and I started in the middle and laid them down. And then when it got to the corners, I kind of took over because I wanted to make sure that they were on point in the corners. But it is looking great. It's very junky in here, so excuse that. But you can kind of see the previous floors underneath it. They looked terrible. So this is gonna make everything look 10 times better. We're gonna move it into the closet too. Uh, the linen closet only, not the regular closet. I have plans for that too. But as you can see, everything like on the edge line, like the way it blends into the next room, it's really nice. I really love how it how it's turning out so far. I am just 
the only thing I'm concerned about is the baseboards, which this is just temporary flooring. So, you know, it only costs us like 200 bucks to do this whole floor. And so um, eventually I would like to put down real tiles that look like this, but these are just peel and stick for now to get us by because it just looks so horrible. But yeah, so we're almost done. Everything's lined up perfectly. We use the level. Yeah, so that's it. This is dirty. This is just a second disclaimer. This is dirty. So I know I have to clean it up, but that's just the start. And we also have the faucet. Everything is dirty. The faucet's dirty, everything. So it's just because we're working on this. <laughs>